man who knows how to make a good first impression. First year, Charlie only racks up 24 wins. Uh, nothing to it, right, Paul Hewitt? <laughs> Coach Willen knows it's about players. <laughs> yeah. It's always it's about, about players. He's been, he's been around. He's Believe been me. around. He's been a lot of but it, but it was a great first season to George Mason. Give us your impressions of the, that first year in the CAA. Well, I, I was very impressed with just how the league was run, how competitive the games were. Uh, I was very lucky to inherit a, a veteran team with leaders like Mike Morris and Orion Pearson who really made the transition easy for me and the rest of the players on the team. You know, we, Al and I have talked about the guard play in this league and how many guards are back and are very talented this year in the CAA. I think you're going to join right in with the guards you have. Sherrod Wright along with several other guys. Yeah, Coach, you know, not many guys in the country shoot as well as he shoots the ball. He's for over 40% from three, over 50 from the floor, and over 90 from the free throw line. Um, but he also understands that there's more he can do. He can be a better rebounder and a more consistent defender. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what, you know, what he can do this year in terms of building on what he did last year. I remember, I'll always remember that shot he made. Again, and I, that makes two of us. He comes, down, he comes down 40 feet out and just looks at everybody like, it's in. It's good, don't worry about it. <laughs> That's right. you, you, you mentioned uh, Ryan Pierce and Mike Morrison who were not with you anymore, but I thought one of the things that was a real strength for your team last year, and obviously he's going to pay some dividends this year, you had 10 guys that averaged about 12 minutes or more. Yeah, you know what? Uh, we actually might have more depth this year than we did last year. Uh, inside in particular, we have Johnny Williams who's coming back from a red shirt. Uh, I told John Oliver, I said, you just got one thing to do. It's very simple. Just play like you played in the conference tournament. We'll be fine, okay? <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, Eric Copes, who's a big kid. I think he's got a chance to be a good player. And, and we have a freshman from Serbia, Marko Gijanicic, who has looked good so far. Well, Vaughn's, I, th I thought, was one of the best shooters when he was going in, yeah. in the league last year. Uh, I, I think he will make a great – pair with, uh, with the other guards out there because he could flat out shoot it. Yeah, he did something unique this summer. As you said, when he had it going, yeah. he was a very dangerous shooter. But there were some times he'd go through some droughts, and I think his form kind of you know, let him down from time to time. So this offseason, he really tried to streamline the shooting form. He's worked extremely hard at it. It's not quite there yet. But I keep telling him, I say, hey, just keep working at it, and you'll, you'll get it all the way back. But he's much more consistent in his release, and hopefully it will translate into more buckets. Is Byron a Allen providing the leadership that you want out there? I liked him a lot. Like yeah, that. he is. He and Corey Edwards have done a nice right, job right. for us. You know, not having Andre for the first 10 games mm -hmm. last year put Brian and Corey in a situation where they really had to grow right. up fast. They got off to tough starts, both of them, but by the end they were playing really well for us. And I think, again, that will carry over to this season. You mentioned that Johnny Williams comes back after missing all last year with an injury redshirt. You also have a transfer in uh, Anali Oka Okaloji from uh, from Seton Hall. What can Mouthful, we right? <laughs> <laughs> you imagine when I get excited in practice trying to say his name? <laughs> no, he, he's an energy guy. Yeah, Anali is about six 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 seven. Plays extremely hard. If I had to, you know, identify a particular skill, he shoots the ball very very well. But his overall game is he just plays with a lot of energy, gets the loose balls, great defender, plays really hard, and he, and he brings that type of intensity every day in practice, which makes our practices even better. Paul, Al and I both agree that you will still be one of the most athletic teams in the league, which will allow you to do what you like to do, and that's play defense too. Yeah, and, and you know what? I think uh, last year we relied so much on Ryan and Mike. I think you had to worry about wearing them out by mm -hmm. pushing the tempo or, or pressing it as much as, you know, a lot. But this year I think we'll be able to press more, uh, play a little up-tempo, mm -hmm. but know that we, we're a little bit more balanced. We'll be able to go to the bench and give some guys some breathers. You mentioned one of your freshmen already, but there's another one in Patrick Holloway, yeah. who's uh, right down the road here from Paul the VI, and recruiting the Washington, D.C. area has got to be critical, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, and if for everybody in the area, they know what kind of year Patrick had last year, Paul the VI. He made a couple of buzzer beaters. Um, he saved me one night. I took my wife to a high school game, and she was just killing me the whole way down, <laughs> and he made a shot to beat the math of the buzzer. She got in the car. She said, that was the best high school game I ever saw. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and he saved me a little grief, but yeah, he, he's a scorer. He's a shooter, um, and Obviously, you know, when you, when you have guys that can make shots, they can make it look, make things look a lot better for you. You've been able to use the Patriot Center to your advantage. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a terrific venue. A new president, and ta talking with your athletic director, Tom O'Connor, earlier, he said we have another president who's with athletics all the way. That's got to be a great thing for you as well. Well, I think everybody at, at George Mason has a lot of confidence in Tom O'Connor, and, and he sets the direction. I think the new president coming in, I'm sure he talked to Dr. Merton about how Tom has led the program, and he's talked to people around the campus and, and how Tom has led the program. So I think it's, uh, 
you know, he's probably being a little modest. You know, I think a lot of Dr. Dr. Cabrera's confidence comes from having Tom at the helm. Well, off the subject of basketball for a second, you also got one of the greatest bands in the country. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to tell you what, that, brother. My man, Doc Nix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Unbelievable. You talk about the Patriots Center, the atmosphere oh. that's there. Obviously, our players do a lot because they play quality basketball, but Doc Nix and the Green Machine, yeah. they do an awful lot to I know the great tournament, atmosphere. The tournament, all the guys that are doing yeah. the games just stop preparing and listen <laughs> to all that going on. They're fantastic. Yes, they well, are. Paul, it was a great first year for you at George Mason. Good luck in the second year and beyond. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks, guys. Paul Hewitt, the head men's basketball coach at George Mason University.